No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com 360. And My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, this is Charles from No Film School here at NAB Show 2017, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm here with Ryan from Takina, and we're going to talk about their new VistaVision series of prime lenses that open to a T1.5 uh, across the whole line. Yep. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, tell me about what you got going on here. Uh, we have the new Tokina Vista Primes. These are a ground-up uh, cinema VistaVision design. The image circle is uh, 46.7 millimeters, so it'll cover beyond VistaVision. Uh, about approximately 20% more than VistaVision and almost open gate 65 on some of the longer focal lengths. They're really limited just by just the mount. They're uh, T1.5 across the set. Uh, they have 300 degrees of focus throw, 114 millimeter filter thread. Our 11 to 16 was originally rehoused by Duclos lenses and used all over the world. We now have a PL version of our own and uh, that continues to uh, be a great uh, thing that's used in lots of films. And our, now we have our VistaVision primes and shown that we're serious in, in the cinema business as well. Yeah, I remember Remember that Takina well uh, when Duclos was first doing it, we would always rather, you know, you always assume you want the branded lens, but like you do a red job and you're like, people be like, do you want the red zoom or the Takina? And you'd be like, I would like the Takina, please. Yeah. It was a really nice product. Yeah, it was, it's a really great product and really brought Tokina into the cinema business. And now they've uh, kind of springboarded off that success into the primes. We also have a new 16 to 28 T3 zoom that's also VistaVision. So we have a nice short zoom and we have a macro that covers the VistaVision format uh, that's only $2,500 in our 100 millimeter T2.9 macro. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, full featured cinema macro. With uh, limited what, what's the what's the ratio in the end? Uh, it'd be one to one. Oh, so you've got a one to one macro for twenty five hundred dollars yes. that covers VistaVision. Correct. And does it do exposure compensation or no? No, uh, that is the secret to the price. So there's the color scale on the aperture and on the focus. So when you're in the blue zone, then if you're at T two point nine, your actual T stop would be closer to T three. Gotcha. So what we're talking about here is with a lot of the older macros, as you get closer and closer to a one-to-one -one magnification, your exposure changes. So if you've ever rented like the Airy macros, when you're doing your focus, you'll sometimes hear a little click, which is Airy automatically compensating for that. But that's why it's so expensive. Yeah. So a $2,500 macro, but you're just using a color scale. And let's be honest, with digital cinematography, you can see your exposure live on the monitor. Real-time compensation is not necessarily as important, but a $2,500 price point for a one-to-one -one magnification, what's the close focus measurement? The close focus measurement on this one, this particular one's in uh, metric, but it's 0.3 of a meter, so that's uh, you know about uh, 12 well, inches. So you can focus to about 12 inches on a lens that's probably nine inches? Yeah, so you're inside the map box, basically. So I'm looking in front of me here, and I see a whole lot of different mounts. Yes, uh, for the entire Vista series, everything we've shown you, the, all the VistaVision primes, the 16 and 28 short zoom, and the 100 millimeter macro, they all use the same mount system with shims. So you can go from Micro Four Thirds, EF, Sony E, PL, you can interchange them all, um, and Canon, of course, EF. So you can interchange them all with just shims, and you have to have it collimated by a professional because these are professional primes, but it's uh, relatively easy to do and uh, a great option for versatility. These ones here will, co will natively cover 65, and the other ones we would have to use an XPL image expander to, to get to the larger format, but it's entirely possible. So with but, a simple adapter, we could make these 65. Oh, so with the, but with the 50 and the 85, you can just remount it to XPL, and then you're using it on the Alexa 65. In theory, it's not a product yet, but that is something we could do if the market went that way or people demanded it from us. The uh, 35, 50, and 85 are shipping now for the Vista Primes. The 25 we announced here at the show, it ships in the summer, and at the end of the year, we will show, we've shown proof of concept of our 18. We're gonna show an actual working 18 later this year. So we'll fill out the set by the end of 2017. The 16 to 28 uh, T3 short zoom is, telling now, is shipping now and the 100 millimeter macro has been shipping for about a year. So if you're getting like a Helium VistaVision camera and you're looking for your options for a full set of primes, if you just sank the equivalent of a mortgage in your camera, you could probably get a full set of Takinas and save yourself the money of like the S7s, which are going to be another mortgage on your house. And those are a great tool for certain filmmakers, but lots of people need lots of choices and there's more filmmakers today than ever and we're really bringing the truest, highest end quality images to the average filmmaker today and everybody else. And these are being picked up everywhere in major films. It's really doing well. 
so. Well, that's fantastic. Ryan, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. I really appreciate it. So that's the, to uh, the Tokina line of Cine Primes. Tokina's made a Cine Zoom for a while that people love. Now they have a full line of Primes that'll cover VistaVision sensors, so they're future-proof as sensors get bigger and bigger, and they all open to a T1.5, and I'm particularly excited to get my hands on that macro. For No Film School, this is Charles Hayne at NAB Show 2017.